Hey everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to our kitchen. Johanna, my daughter, is going to help us for 1025 this morning. So Joe, here's my question. What are these two things on the table? Um, a funnel and a bowl. Very good. A funnel and a bowl. Now, can you tell me the difference between the bowl and the funnel? What's the difference between the two? Well, the bowl, the bowl holds stuff and the funnel thing goes through it. So if I fill this bowl with water, where's the water going to go? It's going to stay in there. It's just going to stay in there. If I fill the funnel with water, where's the water going to go? It's going to fall out of there. All right. Sounds good. So they're kind of the same, but they're kind of different. They're both round. They are both round. Could I mean, if I plug the funnel, could they both hold water? Yeah. But is that what a funnel's for? No. 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 Okay. Here's my other question. Which one is more like a disciple of Jesus? The bowl or the funnel? Both. Both. Hmm. You know a way we can find out? How? We're going to check your Bible. Can you please find 1 John chapter... Four, verse 19 and can you read that we love because he first loved us that's it mm -hmm. read it again we love because he first loved us okay so there's two different types of love right it says we love because he first loved us now when we love where does love which direction does love go from us if we love love goes where this way or this way um, to other people? To other people. Because we love other people. Right, we do love other people. But why do we love other people? Because God first loved us. In which direction does that love go? Like this or like this? Like this. So we love because he first loved us. Yeah. So which is the a follower of Jesus, a disciple more like? A bowl that holds or a funnel? That holds, but everything passes through it someplace else. Both? Kind of both, because they both hold love, right? We love, because he first loved us. But what are we supposed to do? It, does it say, we keep love to ourselves, because he first loved us? Oh, so it's like the funnel, because Jesus like kind of like pours love into us, and we pour it out to other people. Exactly. So God pours love into me so that as your dad, I can love you. Mm -hmm. God pours love into you so that you can love me and your brother and sister and your friends. God pours love into all his disciples so that we then love someone else. So are we the bowl or the funnel? funnel? We're the funnel. My challenge to you this week is this. Who do you need to be a funnel of God's love to? Think about that and then find a way that you can be that funnel, receiving God's love and sending it to someone else this week. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.